Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a question from one of my subscribers. They wanted me to show them how to take an existing model of this Skywalker X8 and make molds from it. Well, that um, to me, very good question, but there are so many of these out there, the Skywalker um, 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 files and stuff like that and cat files and everything and I wouldn't um, Actually take one and do all the mesh stuff. I would just actually go to grab cat which I did and um, find one that I like and Also, that's going to work in my software um, you just get the step file for it and Once you get the step file for it, it's a lot easier to work with the step file than um, converting Everything the meshes and all the um, um, stuff like that and um, it's just easier to get a step file and you probably will be able to find one that's in the um, Well with the step file you can put it in um, um, Fusion 360 or SolidWorks, etc. So but you might be able to find um, an f3d file for fusion or a um, a SolidWorks files so that you can put into your into SolidWorks and work with that. So if the model was designed in Fusion or you know designed in SolidWorks, you might be able to find one um, over at GrabCat that was modeled in the um, the CAD program that you are actually using. But if not, no um, no worries. Just um, take that uh, step file STEP file and open it up in your CAD software if your um, software allows you to work with the step file. The most CAD um, Software does let you work with the cat file. But um, again, go over to GrabCat and look over there for a Skywalker X8. So I went over there and found this one. It's a little bigger, but it's no, um, no big deal because you can scale it um, to the size you want. And you just, you know, come over here to modify and scale it. And scale it to how big or how small you want it to be. And um, then what I did here um, after I um, downloaded the STEP or step file, then I had this here. Well, I, did, um, I just changed some colors on it, this. And this was all um, done. It was, it was surface model, the person that did this. And I just converted it to solid bodies, as we can see over here. And um, once I converted that to solid bodies, then now I can work with this um, quite easily. And so what I end up doing, let's turn sketches on. Well, it's more than just that line. <laughs> and um, turn on all sketches here. And these are the sketches that I did to um, make the molds of this. So we can turn the, the molds on. And excuse the background noise, it's my printer running again. And we have this. Now this here is um, a mold. I just did some um, cutting away so I wouldn't use as much plastic when um, printing this. So I just made this little piece small as possible. Then I'll probably cut the rest of this stuff up too. So what I'm going to do is turn off the top molds here. Okay, and this is the, the model itself down in here with the, I turned this one off too. Okay. Now, we can see the model down in here in the molds. I turn the sketches off too, don't need those on.
Then we can turn off the model itself too and actually see. And um, these are just the uh, wing roots that I did because I had um, planning on using foam core wings and I need those wing roots just to um, make the templates from those are the templates. But, and the motor mount back here. But this is the bottom of the mold and they're all split up too. So, um, again, that's how I would do that. I wouldn't um, look for a mesh file of this. I would, uh, this particular model, because there's a lot of them out there. Um, people have modeled this in CAD so much that it, um, it'd probably be a waste of your time actually um, trying to make molds off of the mesh file. I believe doing that will take um, a lot more time than this, just finding one and um, opening it up in your CAT software and then making a mold from it um, as normal, just making a box around it, then um, using the combine and keep the tools and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah but I want to address, like I said, I want to address that... Um, that subscriber's um, question, would I do that? Um, like I said, he wanted me to show him how to do all this from the uh, a mesh file. And to me, it's, again, with the mesh, it's just too much work, and there's so many files out there that you can find and um, do this a lot easier. And so, yeah, but anyway, if any of you guys want the files for this, um, they'll be over on my, um, on my Patreon site, or you can send me an email or contact me on my Facebook group or my Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly or C. And this particular file, or, um, the files for this, if you want it, I'll just give it to you for free, what I've done to it. I just, all I did was just make molds of this. So if you want the molds of this particular model, just let me know. If you, um, if you want this file here, I can send you the file. No big deal. And um, so, yeah, but um, um, yeah, I'd be happy to send you this um, files for this and um, the molds that I made. So, yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Just a short video of, um, of this Skywalker X8. And if you want to make molds of it and um yeah so anyway if you're new to my channel go ahead and click that like button and also if you like my videos hit that like button as well if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments and um so yeah and i invite you to join my facebook group and my um um Patreon site. Sorry about that little delay. My Patreon group, both are called Cat Bill Fly RC. And like I've always said in my other videos, I'm trying to make this a full time job. So if you can, go over there and join the Patreon site. And um, at the least, if you um, just subscribe to the channel, and that really helps my channel grow. And I appreciate everybody. And I will catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.